welcome back to the channel everyone so in our previous videos we have discussed about what is exception and how can we handle it and how can we use the multiple catch blocks in a single program so basically in today's video we will continue with this topic so in today's video i will show you how can we throw an exception explicitly and how can we create our own exception and then throw it okay so let's begin first of all we have a class explicit demo in the main method so basically what i will do i want to perform a subtraction between two numbers and what i want that if the answer of subtraction is negative i want to throw an exception explicitly otherwise i want to simply print the answer and you know in order to do that what we have to do first of all let's take try catch block here so try catch and exception e and within that simply say i want to print a message here system dot out dot print ln and if our program throws an exception i want to print simply error okay now in order to perform subtraction we want two variables we need two variables so let's take two integer variable integer i equals to 3 and integer j equals to 5 okay so these are our two integer variables now in order to check the answer is negative or positive we have to take one condition and that condition is if i is less than j then we want to throw an exception because see here our i is 3 and j is 5 so if i perform 3 minus 5 the answer will be minus 2 and because the answer is negative we want to throw an exception explicitly and in order to throw an exception explicitly we have to use the keyword throw here so write throw and then write new and then the name of the exception here we use general exception class so that's how we can throw an exception throw new and then the exception name here general exception and if if our condition not satisfy then we want to simply print the answer so just print the answer i minus j here okay so if i run the program now so as you can see it prints error why because our i is less than j our i is 3 and j is 5 so the answer is negative that's why it is throwing an exception explicitly right now the other thing is we can create our own exception and to create our own exception you have to do the simple steps it is so simple to create our own exception first of all you have to create a class and then give your own exception name for example i give my exception okay this is my exception name and you have to extend your class with exception because the exception is the base class okay so first of all you have to create a class and extend your class with exception and then you have to create or you then you have to take an parameterized constructor here so to take parameterized constructor you have to write my exception which is your class name and pass parameter here which is string because we want to print a message if exception generates and the last thing you have to do you have to use the super keyword here so here write super and within this keyword within this parenthesis you have to pass the string argument which is s here okay so basically what it does our class extends exception class and here is the parameterized constructor and we are catching the string type parameter here which is s right and here in this line we are passing this s value to the exception class because what super keyword do what super keyword does super keyword call the constructor of base class and our base class is exception so this s will go to the exception class and then and then the default constructor sorry not default and then the constructor of exception class will print the message so that's how the program flow works okay so this is how you can create your own exception now in order to throw your own exception you have to make some changes here first of all you have to write my exception here because your exception name is my exception and second thing is you have to pass string argument here because you are catching the string argument so pass string argument which is i is less than j for example i want to print this message if exception generates and here we are explicitly throw an exception okay so after throwing an exception it will print a message and we have to do the last change here which is write my exception here and here write e okay 
so it will print the message now so if I run the program as you can see it prints my exception which is our exception name and then it prints our message which is i is less than j and if you if you want that it simply prints the message instead of the type of exception you can write e dot get message here okay if you write e dot get message and if you run this program now it will simply prints the message which is i is less than j okay so that's how you can create your own exception let me quickly revise what you have to do in order to throw an exception explicitly and to create your own exception first of all to create your own exception you have to create a class and then your exception name and you have to extend your class with the exception class and then you have to create a parameterized constructor and you have to pass parameter of string type because you want to print the message and then you have to pass this s to the super keyword argument okay and this super keyword will call the constructor of exception class and the exception class will print the message okay so and the second thing how to throw an exception explicitly so you have to write throw keyword and then new and then you have to write your exception name and then you have to pass the arguments in order to throw an exception explicitly and then here in catch block you can write your message okay so if you run the program so as you can see it prints the message simply so that's how you can use the exception so that's all for today's video if you have any doubts or query you can ask me in the comment section below if you do like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel stay tuned thank you